Hello everyone, I'm Cool Guy. Welcome back. Today I have a live gameplay commentary for you. It's actually being uploaded on Christmas. Maybe you're on a car ride, maybe you're in between things. Regardless, I have a gift for you, and that is the Uriel's Gift 2.0, like Uriel's Gift's final form. If we remember, Uriel's Gift, real powerhouse in early Destiny, tap the trigger, high caliber rounds, flash sight. Now back then, these things had a lot of range. They had a really good TTK for the meta, but since then, other things have risen up, and these have kind of been on the back burner. Their TTK isn't that good, but with the right perk set, you can do really, really well. So the one that I got, I got it from the Sundial, just dropped from a random enemy there. It, you can also get it from the Crypt Arc, from an Ingram and various world drops. It's going to be the same exact roll, Flash, high caliber rounds, tab the trigger, but this time with Firmly Planted. Increased accuracy, stability, and handling when firing while crouched. This also has a precision frame. This is a very special and important roll. And real quick, you're seeing some background footage before we get into the live gameplay. You see how well it combats flinch because it shoots so straight. And when we get in game, we'll just show it in game. But it causes flinch. It receives flinch well. It's very accurate at a distance. And it can compete with all the various nerfs to the range of hand cannons and pulse rifles. This thing's on point. Even with mouse and keyboard, it's already a laser there, but it straight puts it on a rope when you start crouching. It is intense and I've been loving it. And something like Firmly Planted, it's such a top tier perk and nobody really gives it a chance. Now, like the st Steel Feather Repeater right here, Firmly Planted Swashbuckler, and you see on console what it does to the recoil pattern. You can laser out with it and it's so, so good. But a lot of people don't really like it because you do have to be crouched. And that brings a couple things with the subclasses, and Night Stalker comes to mind, we'll talk about it in a moment, but really, in all reality, especially just in any engagement, like you counted out one Mississippi, and then it's over, like it's very, very quick, so as long as you're accurate landing your shots, it doesn't matter how you're doing it. But we have Top Tree, Night Stalker, and then Middle Tree. Top Tree works because you have Keen Scout, you sprint and sneak faster, so it helps with your strafing while you're crouching, but we're actually going to be using Flawless Execution since we're going to be crouched to grant invisibility, and then we have the Chaperone to follow it up. Now I'm on a, uh, let's see, 754, so almost 8 mobility, and uh, definitely the 5 resilience because that survives the thorn, 2 head, 1 body, but we have the bombardiers. It should be pretty, pretty fun. But as we get into this, one of the things that I want to talk about, and again, we're going to be playing regular skill-based control once we get into our game. Uh, one of the things that I want to talk about, really, and show is how this particular AR, this frame with precision, with firmly planted, with the tap the trigger, just how stable it is and how well it competes, man. It is extremely good. All right, we're loading in, and real quick, I mean, let's look at the perks, and it's got the flash, it's got the torch, it's got some good Omelon scopes. Uh, high caliber rounds, ricochet, armor piercing would be the best bet. Flared Magwell, not so much, the magazine's kind of long on these, but the perk combinations are kind of weird on this, and that's why this truly is Uriel's Gift 2.0, because there's firmly planted quick draw field prep, dynamic sway, not so much, grave, not so much, triple tap, not so much. Well, maybe triple tap, but not really. Uh, field preps outlaw on demand, quick draw is really really good, but firmly planted, you're already taking a precision frame and you're making it even better. And then we have tap the trigger, kill clip, disruption break, that could be pretty interesting. Moving target under pressure and shield disorient, PvP wise, moving target, kill clip, or tap the trigger, but something like kill clip, man, it can be done better on other weapons with better frames, better archetypes, period. Uh, this is more of a straight dueling weapon and that's what we're going to showcase in this gameplay. It's a .93 relaxed TTK. Something like Bygones, it's easy to get shots on, easy to get the TTK, and if someone just lands their shots on you, they're going to out-TTK you, but with high caliber rounds, with the way you're able to receive and apply flinch, this thing does really, really well. Let's see where we want to go. If nobody's grabbing C, I'll grab C. Just really depends on what people do. Alright, so I'm probably going to meet them outside here to the left, and the number I'm looking for is 20. If I'm doing 20 to the head, we're good. I already have flawless execution. Yeah, so it does 26 regularly, so 20s is, is where I'm I'm feeling good about it. There's two there. Three there. Bombardiers. Got that guy kind of twisted. We talked about this in the map video. On the map guide. This little head glitch right here. You did good, teammate. There's one coming over here. He's an ace of spades. He's going to chase me. He's probably going to get me. Using our movement. Alright, 
22-23. We need to grab Bravo. And choke off one side. Push him out. See if he chases me. Shoot so straight, y'all. You know what? Let's do a quick wall test so you can kind of see it. You know, regular. We'll kind of go up on you. Firmly planted. Very straight. Very controllable. But yeah, this is a new monitor. It's my first ever game playing on it. Whoa. And the colors might be off a little bit. I need to adjust everything. I'll do that after the holiday. Good job, teammate. All right. Come right behind everyone. I'm going to get this left lane. Zone A lost. Strength in numbers, Guardian. Excellent. I think it's time, right? Remember, you want to always be in stealth mode. That way it, it lasts. I'm going to overextend this. I'm off the scene. Try to choke that off the best that we can. He has mountaintop. Let's see if we slow him down a little bit. Okay, he's coming this way now. All right, there's two here at Bravo. Look at that. There's three there, waiting for teammates. I'm gonna get a new angle. He's gonna continue rushing me. Three there. 5370, man, they got all zones on us. There's 20s. Look at that, guys. This is console. Only five minutes left. Your enemy can't kill That's straight in front of us. That was versus Ace. All right, we're going in. He jumped up. Or he's going to do it again. Feels bad. Need to grab zones. He did it again. This guy's a madman. Hopefully he's on bottom tree striker. That way at least he can get uh, frontal assault going. See? I'm telling y'all. That was really shaky shots, man. This monitor's kind of weird for me. Okay. Post video, I'll put the model number on the screen. It's a 144 hertz 1080 Asus. It's really, really nice. Uh, that way I can plug in my PC into it and do 1080p gameplay. This guy's out to the left. Just waiting. Bait him in. Down. I have to get this guy that's in our spawn. I know, I know, I know. Zone B we have Alpha. Oh, remain. what kind of spawn is this? This is bad, y'all. Down, I'm gonna get off the scene. So we should be taking C. I'm gonna rotate to Bravo while everyone's here. Zone A lost. Your enemy has a power. Oh, we didn't grab it. One after another. Double down. My aiming's all kind of twisted on this monitor. You can do it, teammate. You can do it. You captured zone B. I think laser someone. And you know what? Dude, like this it can actually duel against pulse rifles. Maybe he's in the vortex. Maybe he's in the vortex. Let's go. Grab Alpha. These guys are just chaining zones. Dude, are we a guy down? We're, we're a couple guys down. Shook off this side. Versus Mida. 
we have a super right behind us. So I'm just trying to grab this zone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't feel good. Alright, we have to make our plays on Bravo here. I think that he just got someone. We're gonna cut the single tight. Good plays. We're still in this, y'all. It's a, you know, 6v4. So that changes a little bit. I'm gonna have to go in between Alpha and Bravo here. I'm not gonna go in the middle. I know our teammate's there. The real threat's out here. They're not gonna go B first. They're gonna hit outside lane because Heavy's out there. That's how we rotate. This guy's still out. One minute. We can't see each other. I need a hunter like you with a red jack. I don't know if we can do it, guys. There's just too many. <gasps> Feels bad, dude. All right, we have to play aggressive here. Zone A locked. It's a power play. Get those zones back. Double down. I think that we would have been okay if we had people. Oh, get don't. This is definitely their spawn. Valiant effort, sir. Are we gonna do this? Oh, we don't have another zone. Over here. Guys, it's such a good weapon. I think we would have been okay if we actually had people on our team. Let's see how we did. I think it had about 31, maybe 32. Sorry we couldn't put out the W, but it's weird. Sometimes it literally just won't put, okay, we almost had 50. We had four zone captures, 47 opponents defeated, 5.22 efficiency. It's a perfect game, really, from our end. We did the best that we could. We were trying to go in between zo zones, do different things, but we just didn't have the bodies out there, and it's, it's a shame. And I was trying to pay attention to, to when my teammates were popping supers and what they were doing. Uh, but we just couldn't overcome not having the people. But hope you guys have had a great holiday. And I'm going to be doing the Saint 14 Scout soon. There's some other things I have lined up. But I really appreciate every single one of you for watching my stuff and coming to my channel and hanging out. Um, I do have a 100K video coming out soon. I finally got my play button framed and it's beautiful and gorgeous. And I want to talk about my road to 100K and the struggles that were there. I'm going to be very candid in that video, so don't miss that one. But that's your Eels Gift 2.0, firmly planted, high caliber rounds, tap the trigger. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.